Okay, sorry, I had to step up for a second. Okay, so what I was talking about was where I was gonna wire this. And what I actually, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna wire it to the uh, five volt here. So I'm gonna take these props off. I just wanna put them on and see how they looked on here and how they fit. So let me go ahead and take this off. Uh, this camera can handle 5.5 volts or less. Uh, so um, being that that's the case, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, port up here. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, now. So first thing we're going to want to do if you're doing this is um, kind of get an idea. Now I built this stand for it. Uh, this is an excessive stand, meaning it doesn't have to be this uh, size of a stand. You could actually, uh, and I'll probably customize this down a little bit to give it uh, to to make it lighter. I could probably make it sit something like this and then put a, a cover over it. But for right now, for the case of doing this, I'm just trying to, you know what? I'm going to make this look awesome when it's done. I will. I'll have it sit just like that and it will be extremely tiny. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna design that as soon as I'm done with this video, but for the sake of getting this done right now, first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and strip the wires. So let's go ahead and knock that out. And I don't know how long I want these wires to be. Again, this is the first time build on this type of setup, so I'm just gonna leave them as they are, and then if I have excess wire, then when I do a final version, I will do that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pretend this, but to do that, I'm gonna add, um, my flux to the wire and I'm not I'm just gonna use the flux pens here okay all right and now let's go ahead and where is my let's do this put this in the lens cap there so that these wires can hang up like this and let me get some solder and quickly tin these wires so we're gonna do one two three and let's get this fourth one. All right, wires are pre tinned everything looks good. Now we need to pre tin the board. Um, and I believe I've already, I think I already applied all my flux to this. So what we're gonna do, like I said, is we're gonna attach the five volt that's up here. Let's go ahead and drop some of this down. So we're gonna do one here, one here, one here. You know what, I'm not sure I pre tinned that. I mean, I'm not sure I, I put flux on that. So let me just do that real quickly because I'm noticing it's not coming off like I want it to. But let me do that anyway here. It's never too late. So let's do that here. Kind of the flux is wet, so I gotta, there we go. All right, and then we are gonna go into the back here, and this is where the VTX comes in. I did not add flux to that either. Let me do that real quick. Probably could have done this before I stuck down the receiver, but a well, so let me knock this out. All I'm gonna do right now is put it on the uh, VTX and nothing else. So right here is the center pad and there it is. Actually, I'll probably do the ground deposit because I may add our capacitor there, a very small capacitor if I do. All right, there we go. All right, so again, as we were talking about, the orange goes to the camera. So three of these are going up front and one of these is going to the back. So let's go ahead and knock that out. And we're just gonna lay the camera right here, grab my tweezers and get going, okay? So we've got our, let's see, we're gonna start from the uh, farthest away from me, which is gonna be ground. Let's go ahead and do that. We know the blue is gonna be the one that goes to our VTX, so I'm gonna wind these three up since they are staying next to each other. This way we can try to, let me, let me do that real quick here. If we can wind these up somewhat. You guys need to remember to be gentle with these wires as best you can. If you are twisting up like I am, try to hold the base of it so it doesn't twist too much and kink against the board. I will put glue here eventually, uh, just a drop to keep it safe. Um, and from, from, you know, try to eliminate it from separating from the board because these wires are delicate. Uh, but I've also pounded these cameras into the ground uh, on my test flights. And man, I tell you what, they're super strong. So they are durable. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and put... Um, our ground on. All right, there's our ground. And then we're gonna go do our camera. And there's our camera. And then we're gonna do our five volt. And there's our five volt. All right, so we've got the camera on. Now we're gonna do our VTX wire. This is gonna go to the back, right here. And I'm just gonna move those antenna again doing the order of operation here, I would probably do this and then put the VT or put the receiver on, but uh, I had already committed to doing the video on the receiver first. So there we go. Let me see. 
that is not how I want it. So give me a second. I mean, worst case, I have to take the receiver off to get to this properly, but I think I can do it without that. I just need to be able to slow down right there. Ah, that's perfect. All right, so we are set now. We have our camera in place, okay? And I can put the mount on, which is what I'm gonna do next, just for, like I said, for the sake of using the mount that I've created. And uh, I know that it's gonna be pretty easy to work with. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, let's take this off, because we really are done with this build. Um, pretty simple, uh, very, very efficient build. I can tell you that. Uh, let me go ahead and remove this. And like I said, I mean, I can make this lighter. Um, so if we need to, I will, but I do need to take this off so that I can uh, fit it around the camera because this is, a, I made this to be a very tight fit. So let me do that. I'm just going to kind of spread this here. I can take this lens cap off. I don't need that. All right, so I'm going to try my best to not mess with the lens too much and try to snap this around the lens if at all possible. And like I said, it is going to be a tight fit, but just there you go. And it pops in place there. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the stand here. Put the screw in and tighten it down. All right, now, like I said, I will make a very small enclosure for this because I know everybody's worried about uh, weight and stuff, and I believe that we can get this to be an awesome, awesome weight. And just keep in mind, these are running uh, uh, Brother Hobby um, 11038, uh, is it 1103? 11,000 kV motors. Uh, but I ran the same configuration on um, T Motor F15s. And on the, uh, all right, hold on, I gotta, I gotta concentrate here. This little screws, or my fat sausage fingers don't, don't like to work together sometimes. So let me, there we go. I think we're good there. Let me tighten this down. Let's turn this camera right. There we go. Now let's crank it down nicely. There we go. And we know for the sake of this one, I want this thing to fly. Now, hopefully the wiring is going to allow permit for me to do this because I guess I didn't think about that part of it, but I was hoping to mount it this way. And now let's see if we have enough wire to do that. If not, I'll just have to reorient Wire the board. So let me see. No, that's going to make the wire too short, so that's fine. Let me see if I can go another route. Well, it looks like I'm going to have me a little bit of a fun time here trying to figure out the best way to get this board. Maybe if I go like this. I hate to put this wire on the outside of it for now, but again, it's just for testing, so let me just see if I can make that work. And I can, so that'll work at least for the time being. For testing purposes, this will be fine. Ideally, I would like to have this wire tucked underneath, but to be honest with you, since it's just for testing, I really don't think that's going to be an issue. So this camera fits on here well. Everything sits on here nicely. Now we're just going to go ahead and bolt it down. And for this, I would normally, I'm just going to use some plastic uh, or nylon, I mean, uh, uh, fasteners here. Let me do that. Again, I have sausage fingers, so these are killing me when it comes to doing this, but Let's put this on. All right. Holy moly. This could very well be the hardest part of the whole build. All right, now, once I'm done driving myself crazy with this, I will tell you that when I do, I don't usually run nylon uh, standoffs and nylon uh, fasteners, but when I do, um, I will melt them together, okay, on my final build. Just something to do is I'll take my soldering iron and actually weld those together or just melt them together. 
Um, I've got to tilt this forward just a little bit so I can get that last one. Oh, where the heck did it go off? Oh, yeah. So let me add one more. Now I'm not going to melt these ones because I know I'm going to be taking this camera this uh, camera off. But there you go. All right. So there's our setup right now as it stands. Um, it is still fairly light. I'm going to be over the weight that I was going for by just a little bit. But let me give you an idea here. So oh, and that's our battery. It's done charging and ready to go. So let me kind of give you an idea of what we've got. And let's do it this way. All right. So put all the tools away real quick. I've got this new rule where I don't move forward until I put the tools away because this stuff gets away from me too quickly. So let me go ahead and just put all this crap away. Okay, now, um, as it stands, and I'll go ahead and put the props on. Now I know, I think we were gonna try two blade props or bi blade props, but I don't think I have any here. I'll have to check. So I just grabbed these ones because Jim Fan was kind enough to include them in our shipment. And I figured, why not? Let's test them and see how we are efficient-wise. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. All right, so first thing we're going to do is calibrate our scale. So let's go ahead and see where we're at. We have we're at zero grams right now, and I'm going to take a 50-gram weight. Okay, we're off. Oh, no, there we go. All right, so let me just move this a little bit, re-zero it. Let's try it again. Okay, we are at 50 grams. We'll take a 20 gram, 20 gram weight, and we are at 20 grams. Okay, so we're good there. So now let's go ahead and see what our quad is weighing in at. Uh, okay, so we're at 40 grams. I'm about five grams higher than where I want it to be, maybe even a little higher than that. But I am running a larger board that runs up to a 6S. Uh, but we are going to run at a, um, a uh, we're going to be running at a 2S. So at least I'm keeping the power there. I think that our thrust to weight ratio is going to be extremely good because of the fact that we've got a board that can put out a solid amp. Um, uh, so assume for the, and then we're going to take a, uh, a little bit of weight off because of the camera stand. This is for a larger one. This is actually for this one right here. And as you can see, this runs 61 grams, but this is running uh, F15 motors um, uh, and is uh, considerably more powerful um, and super quick, like stupid quick. Like, uh, not, a, not something I really want to be flying too much uh, indoors. Uh, but anyways, we're at uh, 40 grams and we will try to shed some weight to keep it in the 30s, hopefully around 35. So. Uh, that's done. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and power this up and I'll grab our monitor here and let's just see what we're looking at. Okay. Video wise, let's make sure everything is set. So let me go ahead and just plug these in because I've not put the plug on yet, but let's try this real quick. Okay. And there's that. And I'll grab our monitor here, which is right here. And as you'll be able to see here, uh, I'm going to do a quick scan and let it go through. And there we are. We have a very good video, very clean. All right, uh, no problems at all. And I will tell you that this thing, I flew at the length of a football field without any issues at all. I do love this camera. Uh, you do get your OSD on here, so you can set that up any way you want. So uh, there you go. So, so far we're good. I think uh, I'm very excited about that. Hopefully that didn't interfere with the, the, the feed. Okay, and um, I think that pretty much does it. So guys, that's part two of this build. That is gonna be the part where, with the uh, Rush camera. I wanted to go ahead and put that together for you guys and show you how to install it. Uh, so, uh, hold on, I'm trying to plug this TV back in. Sorry, bear with me one second. It's this new rule. I can't do anything until I put away what I've done. All right, so uh, we have done now the Rush receiver, which is on here. Uh, we have done the Rush camera. We are using the HGLRC Zeus. We are using the Brother Hobby motors, the 11,000 KV motors, and we have the Gem Fan props, okay? So uh, I've got a few things to do to tidy this up before I go for a flight test on it. Um, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Please uh, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and make sure to follow us on Facebook. And if you have any questions, hit me up at Tark at CycleNFPU.com. If not, guys, fly safe. God bless. Be careful and uh, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>